Only 24% of the people working in science are female. Awesome. If we're talking half a century ago. Why are so few women choosing to work in science? Minding the gender gap? That's today's BFD. In order to close the gender gap in science, we need to understand where it comes from, and it seems like there are three big reasons. But before we get to those, let's just talk about the elephant in the room. Biology. For a long time, people have said that boys are better than girls at science, including former Harvard president Larry Summers. His evidence? When his daughters played with toy trucks, they called them mommy and baby trucks. But Larry's not alone, and it might be the repetition of that view that's causing the problem. Reason number one, negative self-perception. In a recent Stanford study, one group of students were told men tended to score higher on a test they were about to take. Another group were told that the results showed no gender differences. The guys scored three times higher than the girls in the first group, while there was no difference in scores for the second group. Now ask yourself, how many guys are told they're better than girls at math when it's not a study? Reason number two, teacher bias. This really surprised me. A study conducted showed the more anxious a female elementary school teacher is about math, the worse her female students do at math by the end of the year. And this anxiety sticks with girls throughout their whole academic career. So if you're a girl who likes science and need a role model, well, uh, I don't know, try Marie Curie. Is that the best we can do for the kids? Ah, uh, that's better. Reason number three, industry bias. If girls do stick it out and get a math or science degree, employers aren't much more welcoming. In a study conducted at Yale University, a group of scientists were presented with equally qualified applications for a lab position. Half of the applicants were given a male name, half female. Guess which names were given a higher rating and a higher starting salary? You guessed it, the bros. Chris was more competent than Kristen. John was more hireable than Jane. Taylor was more likable than, uh, oh, I guess that name works both ways. Lautner, Swift. So, what are these names, you ask? These are female Nobel Prize winning scientists. So, the problem isn't biology, Larry. It's endemic sexism and low self-esteem. Boom, gah! Oh, that also sucks a lot. Here's what you can do about it. Make sure schools do their part to make sure science is accessible to all students, regardless of their gender. Click the link below to learn more at the STEM Education Coalition. For BFD, I'm Lilan, and be sure to subscribe.